This is Ren, owner and designer at Blessing by Design. I'm here today to show you how I migrated my notes, planners, and everything that I have in GoodNotes 4 to GoodNotes 5. Now before we get started, I just want to say this was not easy. Maybe I just couldn't figure out the new configuration, but it literally took me a few hours to completely migrate. Now the initial migration of your notes and stuff is pretty simple and straightforward. Starting in GoodNotes 5, you tap on this cog in the upper right hand corner import from GoodNotes 4, and you start the import. But this doesn't import your pin colors, highlighter presets, or custom templates that you had set up in GoodNotes 4. This was the hardest and most time consuming part of my migration, because I have a lot of pin and highlighter presets as part of my note taking and planning systems that I had set up in GoodNotes 4. As well as when I take notes from a textbook, I either find a picture on the internet or I take a picture of the actual cover to use as the cover of my notebook. This became a serious issue because for one, I wasn't able to import from my camera roll. I had to do it from the files app. Secondly, they had to be PDFs. And this took me forever to figure out because it actually says on the developer's website that you can import images, but I wasn't able to. I shut down my iPad several times, but to no avail. So I ended up having to take my templates into Photoshop and convert them to PDFs, which was a pain, but I got them all there. Next, I had to reset all the preset highlighter and pin colors in GoodNotes 5 to that I had previously in GoodNotes 4. After putting them all back, I hit this restore color set button because I thought that maybe I would be able to import a set from GoodNotes 4. But it reset all my work back to the preset colors, so I had to go through and put them all back. Needless to say, I've migrated all my stuff over to GoodNotes 5, but my experience was short of amazing. But I'll give the developers the benefit of the doubt, and I'll play around with the app a bit to see if I can get it to work for me. That's it for this video, but keep your eye out for part 3 of the series. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon, bye.